So I'm sure you've come up with a few different ideas on how to design our leaf litter decomposition experiment. There are a few different ideas that scientists always want to think about when they're setting up an experiment, and these are replication, randomization, and control. In science, it isn't enough to collect data once. Often scientists think about the idea of replication or having multiple plots. In ecology, we usually want to have at least five replicates in each treatment to be able to statistically analyze our data properly. Seven to 10 replicates is even better because that way, if something ha goes wrong in one, in one plot or in a sample, it doesn't mess up the experiment. So for our experiment, we don't want to just put one bag of each type of leaf litter. I Ideally, we want to include 10 replicates of each litter bag type. We also have to think about randomization. Sometimes you can affect the results of your own experiment without knowing it. For instance, I put all my bigger bags in an area that was more shady and it liked sun and that affected the decomposition rates. Randomly assigning areas to one treatment or another helps prevent that. In our case, we randomly chose which litter bag to put in which area. Finally, you want to think about control. These are things we want to keep the same between all our treatments so that only the things that differ between them are the things we're investigating. In this study, we only want the thing that differs to be the type of leaf litter. We'll try to keep everything else the same, like using uh, the same sort of material to make the bags and then putting them and then putting the same amount of leaf litter inside each one. Did you think about replication, randomization, and control when you were designing the experiment? If not, you'll have a chance again soon. When you're ready, move on to the next slide to try and design an experiment for our second question on your own.